Climate change poses a real threat to the environment. Prolonged droughts threatening crops, animals and properties. Sea levels rising and shorelines decreasing. Montego Bay Waterfront has been seeing the effects of the latter and government has stepped in to stop the deterioration of our shorelines. On May 12, 2017, the Montego Bay Waterfront Rehabilitation Program was launched by the Urban Development Corporation, UDC. Under the program, repairs will be carried out to existing groins along Closed Harbor, Aquasol and One Man Beaches. The aim is to strengthen the breakwater systems to stop further erosion off the beaches. Over the last 25 years, these areas have lost approximately seven acres of beachfront. The rehabilitation then of the existing groins is critical for the protection of Mobay shoreline. Not just to address erosion, but also to minimize the impact from coastal flooding that can and will happen as we have more erratic behaviors in Mother Nature. This particular project reflects not on the government's serious commitment to ensure that we carry out activities that will mitigate any impact of climate change as well as adapt to some of the change that we cannot mitigate. But it also reflects a commitment to our tech on the sustainable development in the economy. The project is estimated to cost three million US dollars. And so to get it off the ground, part funding was sourced from the German Development Bank, KFW, through the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, 5Cs. The contract speaks to KFW by way of the 5Cs program, providing grant funding for 600,000 US dollars, which is approximately 78 million Jamaican dollars, towards re retaining the contract services for the contractor who will be developing the Grinds. It might not be the big amount you wanted, but it puts us in a position where, because we have other programs that the center is involved with, we can see how we can integrate what we have started into your program. I think that the project is a good example of combining uh, local development and further advancement in terms of community services and at the same time it's also a good example on how to address the impact of climate change, improve resilience and hopefully make uh, Montego Bay uh, a more resilient place for all the future changes which we might expect from a changing climate. The long-term benefits of the rehabilitation of the grinds is the preservation of our beaches, support for local tourism product, and sustainability for further development. The UDC is securing additional funds for the project to the tune of $770 million. The corporation will aid the procurement evaluation process, which will begin in the third quarter of 2017 and should last for five months. Work is expected to begin in fourth quarter 2017-2018 and should take just over a year for completion. The existing grinds were first installed in the 1970s and was carried out by the UDC. The cooperation is highly vested in Montego Bay and has spearheaded the development of housing communities, the Old Hospital Park, Western Regional Police Station, Montego Bay Sports Complex and Montego Bay Convention Center, as well as the Catherine Hall Entertainment Complex. And there are big plans by the UDC for the build-out of a world-class beach park at Closed Harbor following the rehabilitation of the groins. The vision is to minimize physical and social blight that exist in parts of the city. The designs have been done by the UDC as part of the overall Montego Bay waterfront Close Harbor Redevelopment, which is part of the wider Greater Montego Bay Development Plan. And so the UDC will be working closely with the Montego Bay Marine Park Trust to ensure its successful implementation. The broader mandate of the Urban Development Corporation is to drive sustainable development across townships of all parishes to ensure ecological, economic, social and cultural development. This is the future that we see at UDC and this is what emboldens us to come here in Montego Bay and declare that we're going to use this project as a hallmark and a starting point for Vision 2030. The Urban Development Cooperation, facilitating sustainable environmental development. To learn more about the work of the Urban Development Cooperation, call 656-8031 or visit their website at www.udcja.com. You may also follow them on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, or visit their information center on the ground floor, Kingston Mall, downtown Kingston.